I'm standing in the beautiful Avionics vignette here in the Panasonic booth at CES 2015. What we're doing is looking at all of the incredible ways that Panasonic is delivering the ultimate passenger experience. Now, most of us know about Panasonic's dominance in in-flight entertainment. However, Panasonic is also leading the market in smart, connected aircraft. So let's talk about this. What does this mean when we talk about the connected aircraft? Yeah, a lot of the conversation about connectivity circles around the passenger and what the passenger is able to do with, with connectivity. And that's really important to enable incredible experiences all over the world. But what not many people realize is that the real kind of underpinning of the connectivity is to connect the aircraft to the airline's operational systems, to be able to exchange data with the aircraft on a, on a, a real-time basis, to be able to enable the airline to operate more efficiently. So we enable aircraft and fleet management to be truly optimized with the, the data that's going back and forth. Passengers want seamless travel, they want planes to operate on time, they want you know, fares to be reasonable. So anything that we can do with the airline to increase efficiency ultimately benefits the passenger. Fantastic. In fact, why don't we use that as a springboard to go take a look at exactly what the passenger does experience over on the other part of the avionics bit. Excellent. Okay, so Neil, we are sitting here together in economy class, which is pretty amazing when I look at what's taking place in front of me. The seats have really been built all the way from the ground up, so why don't we talk about some of the features that we're looking at here. Yeah, so normally seat vendors and entertainment companies like us work completely in isolation when we design things, and what we thought we would do here is work completely in, in concert with the seat designer. So as they were designing a new seat, we were designing a new IFE system. If we were completely uncompromising about how we put that together, how much realistic state could we give back to the passenger, how much comfort could we give back to the passenger. So what you're looking at here is a true high definition 13.3 inch display. We have the ability to store six terabytes of content on board, so lots and lots of high definition content at the same time as streaming live television and live audio to the aircraft. But what we've been able to do is actually put together the interactive experience of the screen with the interactive experience of the seat. So there's several really unique features here. We want to be able to give the passenger the feeling that they can control their environment. And so we've integrated mood lighting into the seat back, so infinitely variable colors that enable the passenger to create their, an ambience for, for them. We also have a tremendous amount of I.O. input and output, so we have HDMI, two USB connectors, and analog audio for a true multimedia experience and we have uh, inductive charging for people's devices, oh, wow. for uh, phone devices or phablet devices. And in this seat, you also have the ability to store your, your tablet at the same time. Neil, this has really been fun. Thank you so much for walking us through all this and thanks to all of you for uh, taking part and for flying with us today. We appreciate it.